Hey, I got a shot. Right, right, baby. Wake up. You never work. Over oh, from the line, baby. Yo, push. <laughs> Hey. 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 Ten miles turning the bugs, baby. How you doing? This is about my ten miles, baby. Hey. Hey. I want to talk about uh, Kitsuro Tease versus Logan Paul and potential boxing match. I you sure saying since uh, Logan Paul and Tortiz both lost their first professional boxing match, they should go heads up against each other. That's gonna be very interesting, it'll be fun. You know, they're really both big dudes, very athletic, you know, buff, uh, both very good at wrestling. But I think maybe Tortiz wrestling one has a little bit more, uh, yeah, he was at college. And you know Logan Paul was a high school, I think like, he was going to like, uh, the highest level high school, like D1, state champ or something like that. But it was really good. So Logan Paul, I think uh, when I saw he, he, he did a boxing match with the, cause he gets a KSI, he got a split decision. And Alan Silva, um, Tito Ortiz versus Alan Silva, you know. Tito Ortiz lost like in one minute, 30 seconds in the first round. You know, he got knocked out flat in his face. You know, um, we was always not a fair comparison because one guy, we both have a loss. One guy went a split decision, they like, got knocked out in the first a minute, 30 seconds. But, you know, uh, Logan Paul fought another YouTuber, and then, uh, uh Tito Ortiz fought, like, one of the best, one of the greatest music fighters of all time. But it's hard to say and hard to compare, like, who do better against each other, you know, um, looking at, like, how they fought in the first pro boxing match, because, you know, it's, it's really uneven. I think, I want to say, I want to give it to Tito Ortiz, because, you know, been doing boxing for a lot longer than uh, Logan Paul. I mean, train with the, was it the famous uh, Jesus uh, Perillo, Costa Mesa. I think Logan Paul only recently, in the past uh, three years, been, tra been training boxing. We really focused on boxing, trying to get good at boxing. Uh, train with was it Ryan Garcia. I mean, uh, there's talk about them fighting, so I really hope they fight. It'd be fun. There'd be two big girls going at each other, with like sucking, popping robots. Fun man, it's not like two girls just clubbing at each other. I think both of them aren't that technical. They're both not like Floyd Mayweather. You know, I'm not. I don't think they're gonna come out with some smooth boxing. I think just no blocking, no defense, just all hooks, no jab, no crosses, no blocking. Just bam, bam, bam. The way the face, no body shot, just trying to knock each other out. I think that'd be fun. On the pre-fight interview, you know, like the, the smack talk. That'd be that'd be fun. Zero G's, you know. I'm always excited to watch Tito's fight because he has a he, he really hyped up the fight very well. He has very good smack talking skills. You know, gets me excited. You know, some of you guys want to see him lose, some of you guys want to see him win. Nonetheless, smack talk works. Now, more interesting is win or lose, where Tito wins or loses, Logan Paul wins or loses. I don't see, I don't see the, the two of them going to an MMA match. That'd be fun. So then now Logan Paul. He's wrestling, you know, and his boxing, newfound boxing skills. Two T's, of course, you know, he's a four UC champion. But I mean, it'd be fun, you know? So let me know in the comment below if you win in the Pacific Box Man with Logan Paul and Tito Ortiz. And if you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, if I die, hey!